Welcome in the top seed. UC San Diego Tritons the back to back to back to back CCA tournament champions, joined by Coach Kristen Jones to her right. With the offensive most valuable player, Megumi Barber, score of the first two goals this afternoon. On her inside left is the repeat defensive player of the tournament, Natalie Sadik. And to her far left is senior forward Mary Riley, the offensive player of the tournament two seasons ago. Jonesy, if you could start us off with some general comments, please. First of all, on this afternoon's final. Yeah, um, very different final than last year, um, you know, but equally as satisfying. Um, the girls performed exactly what, the way we needed them to. Um, you know, a little bit of pressure probably to get the four peed and, and to and to make sure that we take care of business during the, the tournament final. And knowing knowing that Sonoma is such a good opponent as well, we match up very well with them. It's probably year in year out the most competitive game of the season for us. So, um, you know, hats off to the players. They they performed great tonight. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of negatives to take from the game. Um, and just just proud of everyone. Jonesy, for so many reasons, this one must be a special one for you. Yes. <laughs> um, no, yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a fun year, great year, um, and you know I was talking to the players earlier about the last time I believe we had a four peat was back when I was playing. So it's just special to be able to um, to have this moment, share this moment with all these players. They're such special people and players, and um, yeah, I couldn't be more proud. Okay, let's start with you. Uh, wow, I mean we we we've seen some bangers out of you. <laughs> you called that second one the banger of all bangers. Uh, two incredible goals. Uh, talk about your afternoon, please. Um, you know, <laughs> it just happens. <laughs> That's the thing about soccer is that when I get on the field, I don't, I don't have to think. You know, the players around me work really hard, and we get the ball up. And to put myself in the opportunity, it didn't come from myself. It came from everyone else. And so, I have my teammates to thank for that. And then, just it's my job to put it away, and that's what I did. Uh, early goals and finals are big, Gumi. I, I, when you got that ball from Mish, how surprised were you? When you turn around and you that space in front of you, were you pretty surprised that you had so much room to, to move forward and, and get that shot off? That's something that we've been working a lot in practice, those through balls from the center mids to the forwards. And so, you know, I feel, I feel like we've done that so many times that it's just ingrained into my head that I'm going to turn and there's going to be that goal. And so I was not surprised at all, actually. I knew that was my chance. Now let's move on to you. Uh, we know what you can do defensively. Uh, goal and assist in this tournament offensively. Back-to-back uh, -back defensive player of the year, back-to-back -back defensive tournament player, player of the tournament. Uh, talk about uh, this tournament for you, please, a little bit. Uh, this one definitely felt different from last year, just the feel of this final game. I think last year, even though we went down repeatedly, we knew we were going to win the whole time. And that's how I felt this game, too, is the entire time I knew we were going to win. And when we put those goals away early, it just made our jobs a little bit easier. Mary, the game winner the other day. Uh, Still 2 nothing today. That's obviously a precarious lead. Got the ball from Nat over here and, uh, and, and found that third. Talk about uh, that sequence, please. Well, that's, again, um, a sequence we work on in practice a lot, just getting the balls from the midfield mid midfielders. I always tell Nat that she is such, she's so good defensively, but she's also so good offensively. And I just want her to drive and drive and drive and just try to find those two balls. And that's exactly what she did. So it was a perfect ball. Uh, Mary, you've never not won this trophy. I'm going to have you comment on this. You've never not won this trophy. That must feel amazing. It feels so good. And just to get that four peat with the other seniors, it just it feels amazing. And just to know that we've helped a little bit, you know, each year just means a lot. You mean you as well? Yeah. Uh, you know, just to be a part of this team for four years has been amazing. But the accomplishments that we've gotten, the, every year we've gone even farther. And so to be part of this for four years, I wouldn't ask for it any differently. Any one of the players, if you comment on this, uh, were you guys keenly aware that the last time that this program for, for Pete at this event was when Jonesy was a player here? Actually, I was giving a speech there and I didn't even know that they did a four Pete, so I had said that we were doing it for the first time, and then Jonesy <laughs> said that they had done it, so that's when I learned. <laughs> Jonesy, I know these fours are special to your heart in particular, uh, to either side of you on the ends. All three goals from them today, incredible goals. Um, you know, just talk a little bit about them, please. Yeah, we spend a lot of time together. Um, <laughs> not as much this year, maybe, as, as years in the past. But, um, you know, it, it doesn't surprise me. They work so hard every training session. 
Um, they keep their heads. I mean, they've had they've had a lot of chances this year, and it's been very easy to, to get down on themselves. And I just know the farther we go in the season, the more confident that they get. And it just none of this surprises me at all. They're just special people. They work very hard every day. Um, and I'm just glad that they get the rewards of, of scoring the bangers that Gumi scores and, and, and the goals that Mary scores. It's just, it's very satisfying as a coach, um, especially being a forward too. It's just to see them. I mean, I couldn't have played with them, that's for sure. So. Can you give a specific comment on that second one from Gumi last year? It goes down as the game winner this afternoon, Jonesy. Uh, what's going through your mind when you look up and you see that ball go in? <laughs> I think I laughed um, <laughs> because it, it just, it doesn't surprise me with Gumi. Those are the goals that she scores. Um, and if you think about all the goals that she's had in her career, most of them are these highlight reel goals. So it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me, but I would have to say that that is probably your best goal that you've scored as a Triton, definitely. And how about Mary over here, uh, Jones? That's, that's uh, 15 on the season, 48 for her career, which actually matches one of the best players in this program, Lauren Johnson, uh, for fourth all-time in the program history book. Uh, we, we, we heard their term playoff Mary this week. Uh, I think we saw it the last few days. Yeah, Mary, um, you know, we kind of had a meeting this week and talked about how she tends to get better as the season goes on. Um, and they're, you know, all three of these players, but Mary especially is a big game player and she'll get the chances um, and just put in the game, put in the goal away in that moment, put the game away for us. And, and Mary um, just finds a way to score that big goal. And, and I don't think she's anywhere near done this year. Now, do you miss without asking you specifically about Natalie over here as well? Again, we know what she can do defensively, just clogs everything up and then uh, to, you know, get offensive stuff from her is, is a bonus. Uh, she must be everything for your team. She is, and and you know what what I've liked with Nat this year is she's grown into just being such a good leader, um, on and off the field. But she's our rock back there. She settles everyone down when we need it the most, um, and you know everyone believes in her in that moment. Like Mary said, when Nat gets on that ball and she starts to dribble, we're so much better now at what the people off the ball are doing because um, you just you know that Nat's going to make something happen in that moment. So yeah, it's very it's very easy to overlook her defensive capabilities because she makes it look so easy, but. Um, yeah, I mean, Nat, Nat is our rock back there, and I think everybody on the team will agree with that 100%. Mary, did you have a sense of home field advantage this weekend? I mean, both games you guys got off to such quick starts. Yeah. You know, your familiar crowds are in the, in the stands. I mean, was there a sense of home field advantage, and that help you guys? Yeah, I mean, every home game we have, we have so much support. We have so much alumni support, and it just goes to show how special this program is. Um, and I know that if we make it to Pittsburgh, there's going to be a bunch of people flying out there to support us. So I love playing at home. Jonesy, going off of Shannon's question, I mean, uh, now 10 or no on the season here. Uh, the results this weekend certainly have just about guaranteed that you will be here again next weekend. Just a matter where you earned that first round by. Uh, talk about the prospect of playing one more weekend in this venue. Yeah, I'm actually just very happy for the seniors to be able to play here one last time. Um, you know, and, and hopefully we'll be playing the last game that they could potentially play here. We can get to that point of the season and, and we know what it takes to get there. But, you know, we've we've had to travel for this NCAA before and if we have to do it, we'll find a way to win. I'm confident in us to find a way to win, but it is nice to not have the elements um, of some other places that we could be traveling. And like Mary said, you know, the support here, not just the alumni, but the, but the parents and the alumni parents too, the number of familiar faces in the stands, it's just, it's easy to play well in front of them. So I hope, I'm hoping that we get a good, a good number tomorrow on that selection show. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.